Yes, sir. What's up? We're back with another one. And today, we're going to be doing a reaction, recap, review, whatever, to fucking Polly D and Vinny, Double Shot I Love, Season 2. So, I'm kind of going to react to the finale part one, the reunion part one, my bad. The reunion part one, as well as the whole show season in general. Okay, so... Comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought about this episode and the season in general. Let's get into it. So the show, the reunion took place over Zoom, as you guys know, because of coronavirus and shit like that. So it wasn't as entertaining as your typical like reality show reunion. Because during your typical reality show reunion, you'll see a lot of fights, people getting cussed out, shit like that. There's a lot of beefs, drama, which... We saw some drama in this episode, some beef. When I say that, I'm referring to like Darren and Marissa. They were beefing over, calling each other a hoe and shit like that. Um, who else was beefing? Maybe that was the only beef. So that was the thing with this reunion. There wasn't much beefs. Oh, Darren and Antonio with the teeth, they were beefing. And um, because Antonio was trying to say Darren was a fake bitch, right? And Darren's like, how are you going to call me a fake bitch when you're literally linking off my phone every week? Call me two and three times a week asking me to chill. And then a man like Antonio's like, nah, fuck, but you're fake, though. Yeah, I fuck with you, but you're fake. So now Antonio looks stupid, dog. Like, why would you try to roast this girl? And then she brought you to this stage like, yo, this waste man calls my phone every week. And she busts on his head. She's like, yo, don't call me anymore, eh? Don't call my phone no more then if I'm fake. And this guy's just, he looks stupid, bro. Ever since he's been single, he's been wilding. He's just trying to link girls, link girls. You know he's not getting any plus because he's linking up Darren. Like, come on, bro. What are you doing? But anyways, that's besides the point. Yeah, there wasn't much beast in this. If, I think if they were in person, there would have been more beast. I think people would bring energy to Susie, Darren. I think Nikki would have had energy for them, especially over that whole Trey Song shit. That shit was funny as fuck. If you guys know, you know. I'm assuming that if you're watching this video, you've been watching the show. It's not like you're just going to watch fucking the reunion episode of a show you never watched. That's fucking weird. Even though I would probably do that. But um, what else? So yeah, it took place over Zoom. Part 2 is coming out next week, I would assume. Feels like this show has been on for fucking nine months. I swear the first episode may have came on in like February. It is now October. That's a long fucking time. This is one of the longest shows I've ever watched. Like, every week consistently it's on. Like, how many episodes is this? This shit is longer than Game of Thrones. Each episode is an hour. This shit might be better than Game of Thrones. I never watched Game of Thrones. I watched, like, one or two episodes. That shit was, it was boring as fuck to me. I could see why people like it with the dragons and shit, but I'm not into dragons and shit. I want to see people, like, throw liquor on each other and shit. Because I have ratchet tastes. But I also have fine tastes. Like I watch certain other things that are more of high class. But I also like ratchet tastes. Like I like people throwing bottles and shit like that. So yeah. I think the show might be better than Game of Thrones. But I'm undecided. I have to see more episodes of Game of Thrones to be able to make that statement. So anyways, the reunion. What else happened? Adrian Bailon was the host. You may know her from 3LW. You may know her from The Real. Uh, you may know her as a former Cheetah Girl, more prominently. Um, who's my favorite Cheetah Girl? I think Adrian Bailon might have been my favorite Cheetah Girl. That was my first time seeing her, because I never listened to 3LW or no shit like that. Yeah, so it was cool to see her. Who else was on there? Oh, yeah, Vinny and... Not Vinny. Polly and um, Nikki are dating. They've been living together and shit like that. Apparently, they've been posting pics on social media and shit. I don't really follow these guys on social media, so I don't know that shit. But that's interesting. I didn't think Nikki and Polly were really going to work out like that, but they seem to be taking things slow. Maybe Polly's actually ready to settle down. We'll see. He has a beard now. You know when niggas get a beard, they start acting different. So maybe Polly is just going through his beard phase and beard niggas want relationships. Let me know in the comments if you guys think beard niggas want relationships. I don't know. I'm not a beard nigga. I'm getting there. But that's besides the point. I digress. Um, Susie looked fucking wild in this show. If I could, I'd put a picture of Susie right here. But I'm probably not going to do it. I'm probably just going to upload this to YouTube. 
Yes, sir. But um, Susie looked fucking crazy in this show, dog. Like her, her eyeliner, her eyelashes, her mascara, whatever the fuck. It all looked crazy. Um, she looked like she got her lips done. And freshly done, cause they were look they look kind of stung. They look like they weren't really moving type shit. But still got love for Susie. I, I'm praying for her. When I say I'm praying for her, I'm not really praying for her, but I hope she does better facially. Um, in regards to that, Marissa, Marissa and Darren got into it. As you guys know, Darren tried to play Marissa out, calling her a hoe cause she fuck with Brian or whatever his name is on in the house. And then when Darren tried to fuck her stripper boyfriend, who she just met on the first day, and his dick didn't get hard, then she tried to play it off like, oh, I wasn't trying to fuck him. But like, bitch, you're literally with all the girls crying, talking about, oh, his dick won't get hard. Now you're trying to say you weren't trying to fuck him. Like, you look dumb, man. You're trying to call Marissa a hoe. You, you would have been a hoe if the nigga dick could get hard, but he couldn't get hard for you. So I don't know where you're trying to bring talks. Marissa, she got bent over that. They were kind of fighting a little bit. Oh, yeah, so that's really all that happened in the reunion. That was part one. Part two is coming out next week. Overall, the show, I enjoyed it. I didn't think I was going to enjoy it at first. The first few episodes, I thought it was kind of whack. How they just had these, like, random cuisines that they brought on the show. I'm like, what the fuck? Cuisine. Like, I don't want no cuisines on the show. I wanted, me personally, I wanted season two to be, like, season one. How they had all the girls in the house. Because I like that shit. I like, like, Flavor of Love, for example. Season one, two, and three, all funny as hell. Um, Tila Tequila, Double Shot at Love. Is that Double Shot at Love? It could be. So Tila Tequila, for example. I like those type of shows. Um, but this show was interesting. It's like a, another Jersey Shore type show. I also watched Jersey Shore, so it was easy for me to watch this. Kind of grew on me over time. It wasn't that interesting. But it's a good thing to watch like once a week, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, it doesn't hurt. So anyways, let me know in the comments what you guys thought about the the reunion, what you thought about the season in general. And if you like this show, they'll probably have a season three. Um, if there is a season three, I'll end up watching it. And I'll do some more videos on that. So like the video, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. All right, peace.